Hi everyone, thanks for joining us today for Job Site Live Drum Machines uh, in Elyria, Ohio. Today we have product experts John and Brendan who will be walking through everything drum, mach drum machines. Um, if you have questions, go ahead and ask them live. Tim Dumphy, our Director of Product Management, will be answering them. Or you can use the Q&A chat function and we will be answering those questions at the end. Um, we're also going to be giving away two Yeti mugs, so um, we will randomly select those winners and DM you after today's live. So, let's get started. Thanks for joining us. John, take it away. Hi, I'm John with Rigid. I've been with Rigid for about 16 years. Um, I work out of the training center, training facility. I am a training specialist. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the K3800 drum machine. Hi, my name is Brendan, uh, product manager for Drain Clinic at Rigid. Uh, we've been in the business for drain cleaning over 50 years. As you can recall, we did have a sectional drain cleaning uh, job site live, so this is about drums. And for today, we'll talk about the K45 and the K50, uh, as well as mentioning the K6200 as well as 7500. So we'll get right into it. One of the main advantages of drum machines is that you have the cable completely contained. For sectionals, we discussed, you know, not as easy for the cleanup, but uh, for this one, the K45 is a great machine for installing your cable. So, add into the auto feed right here. And then loading it, no special tools, a flat head screwdriver is all you need to get this on here. Lock it into place. And I did that wrong. All right, so uh, you get the four screws lined up around, and it's a pretty simple turn. I mean, I know I struggled with it, but uh, overall, when you get used to it, it's pretty easy. So you get these screwed in. And now you have your K45 all set. So it's great because in the field, uh, you know, there's always things that come into play. And for this, it's a great way to simply change out your drums, whether it's in the field or whether it's just replacing worn cable. Uh, it's not a big mess. And again, that's the advantage of drum machines. After we've got it all set up, we make sure to wear our appropriate PPE, so glasses and the appropriate gloves. Um, in this case, we're using the leather gloves. And John will talk more about the different types of gloves you need for drum machines. Previously, we talked about the sectional mitts that were being used. Uh, it's a little different for the cable type, so use the appropriate gloves. So coming over here, we've got our uh, sink right here. Uh, the K45 is a perfect machine for tough blockages in the sink. So we'll get this plugged in. And always make sure that you have appropriate uh, GFCIs, um, especially with sinks, you don't want to get shocked. Um, and read the manual if there's any questions for extension cords. But uh, what you want to do is set the machine forward. You always want to go forward, uh, whether you're going pushing the cable out or in. That way the cable spins the appropriate direction. So we'll get this going. So as you can see, the auto feed is a great feature where I just stood here, made sure to go forward, and was able to get the cable right through. Within a few seconds, most blockages for a P-trap or other sync application can be knocked out with the K45. And again, the advantage of having the K45 quick drum is that if you don't have the right cable or you need to bump it up or replace it, you can do that within a few minutes uh, with only that uh, flat head screwdriver. So we'll get this back out. Yeah. So again, I kept it in forward on the uh, trigger right here, but made sure to use the auto feed right here because it's a great option. And that's the professional version. And when you buy the auto feed version, it does come with a red care or a toolbox with all the attachments that you need. So it's a pretty awesome product right here. Pretty light. I mean, I, I can hold it with one hand. I do hold it with two because it's safer and I get a good grasp of the auto feed. But uh, again, K45, and we'll go back over to John over there for the K3800. All right. So on the K3800, when you get into your actual drum machines, you're going to have a, a choice of what type of cable to run in that drum machine. I have a couple samples here. 
the first sample is a hollow core cable, or it would be an HC cable, where they take a certain gauge wire, send it through a forming machine, essentially to create a spring. Okay, that's going to be the most flexible cable that we manufacture. The one thing about it, though, is that it is prone to potentially kinking and breaking. So you do need to be careful if you're using a hollow core cable. All right. Probably, to me, personally, the best all-around cable is going to be the inner core, or IC cable. Again, they form that spring, and then what they do is they insert the wire rope inside of that cable. That wire rope is not attached at any point. It's not attached at the ends. It is actually free-floating. That way, it will lend itself to some flexibility, but when that drain cable is going down the drain line and it starts to encounter a blockage or obstruction, as that outer cable starts to cinch down on that inner core, it's essentially turning this into a steel rod at the point of contact to really build up that torque and rip away those obstructions and blockages. But the problem with this one is it's not as flexible as the hollow core. For me, I would personally recommend to start with the inner core cable. If you've got a smaller trap in there and you can't get that cable through it, that's when you would go to an optional hollow core cable. Uh, the third type of cable we have is an IW, or interval wound cable. This one, they actually wind that a wire tight on that inside cable on the inside. So essentially, it's attached all throughout the cable from end to end. That's going to be our most kink resistant cable that, you, that we have and it is the most forgiving. A lot of professionals don't really choose this cable. They would prefer the inner core cable just because you get more of a feel of that shock wave coming through your hand. A better idea of what's going on in the drain line. But, and this in IW cable is only available in 3 8 and half inch. We do not make it for the big 6200 or the 7500 machines. Okay. Um, when you're talking about the 3800, you can run two different diameters of cable. Right now we have a 3 8 diameter cable in there. You can also purchase and run the half inch cable. With the 3 8 you can run a, fit 100 feet of cable in the drum. With the half inch, it's 90 feet of cable in the drum. Okay? 3800 is good on drains up to 4 inch. So basically anything inside your residence, that type of stuff, your main stack, um, you probably aren't going to be using it too much on lateral lines. That's when you would want to bump up to the 6200 or 7500. Okay, but it is very, very versatile and it does come with a lot of different options. Okay, we have a bare bones setup machine here. You can also, there's an accessory of a cart that you can actually use to transport that cart. It just slides right up underneath and behind, grabs and hold of the frame, and you're able to tilt it back and run it like a two wheel cart. Okay. Also, when it comes to the drum machines, there's going to be different types of gloves depending on what drum machine you purchase. Okay, for your 3800, and as you saw Brennan with the 45 K45, it's going to come with a good, solid, good quality pair of leather palm glove. Okay, you do not ever want to use latex or nitrile gloves and touch a spinning cable because you will stick to it, and that's how you're going to end up getting hurt. Okay. You also do not want to use just regular cotton gloves because when they get wet, they will also stick to that cable and tear you up. Okay. You don't want to do that for safety purposes. Now on our larger drum machines, the 6200, 7500, and the K750, they are going to come with these PVC coated gloves. Okay. I call them the ugly gloves, but they are actually very, very durable and they will not stick to a spinning cable. Okay, even when they get wet. It, it looks like rubber, but it's not. It's actually a PVC coating on it. Okay, that allows you to control that cable and not get stuck to it and get hurt. Okay, so for the K3800, you do have a handle in the back on the side that you can actually change the angle of the drum. So if you're working in a basement, something like that, and you have to go through an overhead drain, you can actually set it up and lock it into position so you don't have to wrestle and handle a whole bunch of extra cable. Okay, you don't want a lot of cable between the machine and your access point. That's when you start to get in trouble and can get hurt, okay, and or damage a cable. So what you're going to do is you're going to tilt that down, set it to the position that you need, and we're actually going to put a cutter on here. We're just going to show you and run it for a little bit down the drain line. Um, first thing we're going to do is the kits. There's all kinds of different cutting tools for the drum machines. And it all depends on your 
the problem or situation at hand. One of the best ones I like to start out with is either a straight or a ball bogger. That way, when you run that down the drain, you can get some clues as to what, what's going on. You're gonna poke a hole in it, get that water to flow, and then when you bring that cable back, you're gonna potentially have some evidence as to what the problem might be. If it's tree roots, if it's soft obstructions, if it's soap or grease, whatever the case might be, then you can change the cutter to the more appropriate cutter for that application. Right now, we're just gonna run this one. On the end of the cable, you do have a spring-loaded pin on that. You wanna make sure that that stays lubricated. Whenever you use it, go ahead and give it a shot of lubricant. Before you put that cutter on it, make sure that that goes up and down, okay? So with the actual tool, you're gonna to just slide that, push that in, push that pin in, and you're always gonna to wanna to look through the hole in the side and make sure that that pin is engaged. Otherwise, you can lose that cutter down the drain line which is no fun. All right, so I'm gonna put my glasses on and get my gloves on. And we are gonna just kind of show you and just run it out and see what we can do. You always, just like uh, Brennan was saying, you always run these in forward. You never wanna run them reverse, okay? The cables are wound in a fashion that they're gonna have strength when they're running in forward. The only time, and everyone always asks, well, why do all these machines have a reverse on it? They have a reverse in case you get stuck. If you are stuck, going forward, no matter how hard you're pulling, is not necessarily going to release that, just like a screw and a piece of wood. So then you would flip it into reverse and run it for about three to five seconds, put it back in forward, and then retrieve that cable. One of the other options that we do have for the 3800, there is an optional power feed unit that you can use on it. Some guys prefer just to run this by hand and feed it by hand, and that's what I'm gonna be demonstrating today. But the power feed unit, especially if you're using a half inch inner core cable, can be helpful when you get 80, 90 feet of cable out there. And okay. something that uh, John said there before is, uh, the weight of the cable is pretty uh, robust when you get to 100 feet of half inch uh, cable, or sorry, that one only holds 90 feet. So that's why we have the cart, because transportation of the 90 feet of half inch cable does get pretty difficult, whether it's loading and unloading from your vehicle or carrying it to the job site. So again, the goal of this is to help uh, transportation by using that additional cart, as well as the auto feed, just like John said. That way it's less strain, less stress on yourself, and ensuring that you're getting the job done correctly without injuring yourself. Thank you, that's right. All right, so first off, you wanna make sure that you pull some cable out. Make sure to get it down into the drain so that when you step on that pedal, it doesn't bounce out on you. Now we're gonna put that in forward. Okay, and the 3800 does have an air pneumatic foot switch on it, okay? That's what engages it to go. So with one knee on the ground, nice and firm, you're gonna just press down on that foot pedal, and just the cable in. Now, when you're running this cable out, it's not a race. You want to make sure that you take your time and you clean that drain. The object is to clean the drain line out. It's not to see how fast you can poke a little hole in it. You want to make sure you clear that drain out until there's no more resistance or torque on that cable. Okay? And then to bring it back, again, you keep it in forward and you just reverse that, that motion. Make sure to know when that thing's coming back at you because you don't want it to fly out of that hole and hit you and get injured. Then you make sure you put it in the off position. Then you can pull the rest of that out of that line and send that back into the drum itself. Now the way to change these cutters out, I showed you that pin earlier. You actually have a pin key. We have several different varieties of these. You can see it's kind of slanted. What you're gonna do is put that into that hole with the pin sharp point on top, push that in, and then it just slides right off. So that's how that pin key works. We also have the uh, Trident decoupler over there. It does work, work with both sectionals and drum machines. You, in this case, you'd use the smaller pin. It's a great innovation from Ridge Tool, uh, leading the drain cleaning industry for that because decoupling your cables in the field can be challenging. We wanna improve that uh, and not, you know, hurt yourself. A lot of the questions around the pins on the single keys is people push it through and you know sometimes they'll stab themselves with the 
let's be honest, crap filled um, cables. So it's a great innovation. You know, if you don't have one, check it out or ask someone who does have it. It's great for sectionals as well as drum machines. So Becky told me there was a question. So for the auto feed on the 3800, we don't have that in our uh, studio right now, but we do have the auto feed for both the 6200 and the 7500, which is very similar to the auto feed on the 3800. What happens is there's two screw points right here and here, and both of those can be unscrewed, and then the auto feed is able to be pulled off. So again, loosen it out, and then it pulls out. And then when you want to put it back on, we'll see if I can. So again, unscrew and then you pull out with this one of the cables a little tight, but that's how you pull off the auto feed. So each machine has a dedicated auto feed and uh, 3800 does have its own. So then what you do is you line up the cable, put it in and then screw that back down so that the auto feed's on there. And again, these uh, 6200 and 7500 comes with the auto feed because of the weight of the cable. Uh, but the 3800, you can't have the bare bones. A lot of people like having a control of the cable, and it's a personal preference that we talk about, um, providing you with options. The auto feed is nice for the heavy cables, but at the same time, to speed up your delivery of the drain cleaning, hand feeding it is typically faster. And you can also run those two by hand. You don't have to use the power feed unit. You do not have to engage it. You can still run it by hand if you choose. Yep, and it's pretty easy maintenance. Again, no tools uh, besides me unscrewing that, so replacing the auto feed if there is a challenge in the field is you're not going to be down. The machine's ready to go and you're able to get that one job complete and you're not stuck. So, yeah. The last thing I wanted to point out on the 3800, okay, when you when it comes to swapping this drum out, we do offer a sink drum that can work for your very small lines, just like your lavatory sinks, kitchen sinks, and the like. What you can do is you loosen that up, that handle up, tilt that all the way up, and you have one quick release pin quick release and you slide it over and then it's got an integrated built-in handle on it and this drum comes right out and you have the pin on it that engages directly with the motor okay so it is very very easy to swap these out drop it back in give it a spin till it falls in place and then it latches back in and that's what these two hooks are for on that on the cart transport cart so if you want to transport your 3800, you slide those under, engage it, and you tilt that back. This is where your sink drum can hang. Now if you're inside a residence and you're doing a small sink, but you need to get into a bigger line, you can just swap those drums out. All right, so uh, again, thank you, John, for talking about that. Uh, one last machine that we'll talk about and kind of demonstrate is the uh, K50. Uh, you might recognize that it was on the sectionals because uh, this machine does double duty. So it's a, a great machine out there. It's been out there for over half a decade. So, uh, and it's been in different forms, Coleman, Rigid, K50, very powerful. So in the previous uh, video, we showed the cable coming from the back end. For this, we've replaced the sectional cable with a drum attachment. So the drum attachment has, again, the two screws and a pin right here, uh, very similar to the auto feed, very easy to get off. But for the uh, K50, one of the great things is it is a, uh, let's see if it's sorry, plugged in. It is a uh, direct drive machine. So again, we were talking about the uh, K3800 being direct drive. That means there's no, really no belts or uh, difference between the motor and the cable. So our 7500 as well as our 750 have direct belts on there. Uh, it's still a great machine, very powerful. It's just a different way of uh, engaging that cable. So for this K50 right here, having the appropriate gloves, we'll push down and make sure you're in forward again. So it'll be in forward here. The cable's not rotating because it's not, not engaged. Similar, we put the clutch down and then it goes forward. One huge advantage is once you take your hand off the clutch, it stops immediately. So if you get any clogs or you need to let go, it's just a simple, dead man switch. So again, turn it back off and then you're ready to go. So uh, I think that's it for the uh, drum machines. Uh, do we have any questions, comments, um, concerns? Yeah, we have one question here. So the 750 isn't good for daily use, question mark? The, seven, the 750 is a, a good machine. So here on the back, I'll, I'll say it is good for daily use, um, but it is not as powerful or as robust as the 7500. The 7500 is designed for everyday use 
consistent use. So the 750 could be used every day, but we recommend if you're gonna have that more aggressive uh, machine, we'd go with the 7500 or 6200, depending on the machine uh, capabilities that you need. So a, a larger eight inch diameter or six inch diameter drain, you might lean towards the 7500. And also in that same, along those same lines, same answer, is the K750 is what we consider an occasional use machine, as well as the K400. Anything with three digits in the model number makes it an occasional use machine. Anything with four digits or in the thousands makes it a professional grade machine. There are many, many advantages, including the frame itself, the stair climbers, everything else on that K7500 that are built and designed for going on and off of a truck or pickup or van or whatever your vehicle might be. Whereas the 750, it's a little bit more that you gotta move around. Yeah, and then uh, to expand on that, the two digit K50, K45, K40 are professional level for the sink and small applications. Right, that's a separate. Yep. Yeah. All right, thanks guys. If anyone has any questions, use the question uh, mark and ask the questions and we'll go ahead and uh, take those. Uh, we did have one come in. Um, one question is, what is the main advantage of using a drum machine? So uh, we talked about this a little bit in the uh, sectional machines and at the beginning of this, is that drum machines really contain the mess. Uh, the only machine that we don't sell that has a, an enclosed drum is the K750R. But everything else you see, it's enclosed, both for the 6200, 7500. That way when you're in a, a basement or some area that you know could have carpet or something that you need to be really aware of, um, those drums are enclosed and we're in good shape to make sure that your area is clean and safe from the mess. Okay, thank you. Another question came in, which machine would you suggest for a four to six inch main line? For four to six inch main lines, you're not gonna be able to use that K3800. Uh, that maximum is four inch. And if you're getting into tree roots, you're really pushing the boundaries of what that machine can handle. When you're talking about uh, four to eight inch, you're gonna be either in 6200, 750, or 7500. If you're getting into a lot of lateral lines and it, it six inch, something like that, it's your seven fit, 7,500 is going to be the workhorse for you. All right. Uh, someone just asked, what's the best unit for someone that wants to get in the drain gang? So getting started in drain cleaning. Well, if you're residential, probably doing residential work, I, my personal favorite is probably the 3,800, just by the sheer versatility of it. You can, with that sink drum attachment, you can actually get into very, very small lines and kitchens and bathrooms and that type of stuff. But the 3800 can also get into those four inch lines. So it pretty much covers a residence. So, and, and you know, to expand on that, uh, for what John said, 3800 is a great entry level um, getting into drain cleaning. Uh, when we talk about that, uh, for a rooftop access, there's a lot of people down in the south, Arizona, Florida, that want rooftop access because older homes don't have typical drain cleanups. So again, the advantage of the 3800 is, depending on how much cable you have in there, it can be carried up a ladder to get onto the rooftop of a ranch house. So again, a great machine. Most houses are four inches or smaller, so you'll be able to clean out almost every blockage you uh, encounter. As John mentioned, there are situations like really heavy roof blockages where it might be the opportunity to jump up to one of the bigger machines. But if you're getting into the game and you really are looking at residential or four inches or smaller, the robustness as well as the versatility of the 3800 almost makes it the first choice on the uh, vehicle that you're gonna choose. Okay, going off of that, what are some common kit combinations for the drum machines? So common kit combinations, you know, we talked about the 3800 uh, along with the sink attachments. Um, having a, a hundred feet of cable in almost every machine is a must. Clean out to clean out typically in America is a hundred feet. So having that uh, hundred feet of cable, although it may be heavy, make sure that you get from wherever you're at clean out to the next clean out. And that way you're not missing any section because that's a terrible situation that anyone can get into is not having enough cable on the drop. And one of the main features of a drum machine is that by having 100 feet, you'll ensure that almost every job you get to will go from clean out to clean out. Any other? We have one more. Do you sell them in Europe? We do sell uh, drum machines in Europe. The, there's a 230 volt option for most of mainland as well as a 100 volt option for uh, the UK. Um, you can talk to a local rep to help you uh, identify what catalog numbers or kits are appropriate for your region. 
Okay, one more question. What is the main spotlight differences between the 6200 and the 7500? So uh, we have both machines on here. Uh, the biggest difference is the form factor. The 6200 is a direct drive, just like the 3800. So that gives you the power directly into the machine. Uh, the 7500 is a, a belt driven, so it has a little bigger motor and it gives you more room to um, put that three quarter cable. Uh, another thing to mention is that because you have that three quarter cable instead of the five eighths on the uh, 6200, it is a little wider. So some people use the 6200 because of the uh, smaller houses and you know older homes. So that's one of the advantages of the 6200. But nowadays with ADA compliance for newer homes, and the mainline requirements for four inches or larger. We see a lot of people going for the 7500s or as someone indicated, the 750s for occasional use. So that's the biggest difference is the width as well as the way they drive, but they're both very robust machines. Okay, great. Uh, someone asked, what's the max length for the 3800? Uh, I'll let John take care of that. And it is 100 feet of 3 8 cable and it's 90 feet of half inch cable. Okay. Well, thanks everyone. Uh, that wraps up the questions today. Thanks, John and thank you guys. Um, thanks for thanks, guys. Brendan for uh, showing us drum machines. All right.